CCA, Sunny Monk, and Tanya Softik, who is one of the resident artists. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. We are filled with writing and art this morning. It's yes. a wonderful thing. Virginia is so full with this, and you just brought a few examples of books by uh, and about people in Virginia. Exactly. Tell us about this collection. This is a, a minuscule piece of our library. Oh, there it goes. Yeah. It's so great. It's just jumping on right off the uh -huh. table. <laughs> Some of these books written uh, by writers right here in Richmond. Uh, Harry Collitz, who uh, runs the Firehouse Theater, uh, Mary Buford Hitz, who, who uh, is writing about her mother, Miss Bocock, who lived on Franklin. Mm -hmm. uh, but of course, Alice McDermott's Charming Billy came out of the VCCA. Mm -hmm. She's in Northern Virginia. Um, there's a book here about uh, Edgar Allan Poe. The Virginia Center is the nation's largest artist community. It's kind of an invisible giant uh, two hours west of here. And it is the research and development laboratory for the culture, just like medicine and science and education need time to think and create and bring new ideas forth. Uh, so do artists and writers. So that is our job, um, to support about uh, 25 artists and writers and composers and filmmakers and just the whole genre of um, diversity um, so that their work will be extraordinary. How do these creatives gravitate to the VCCA? How do they make their way there? Well, maybe Tanya would be a good person. Uh, <laughs> God, she made her yes. way there. <laughs> well, yeah, I have made my way there four times now mm -hmm. since, uh, oh my gosh, 96, I believe, mm -hmm. is the first time I went for a residency. Um, well, in the artistic community, VCCA is an institution pretty much anybody knows about. And uh, entry is competitive, and there is, an, uh, juried, uh, there is a juried process you know, for the entry. And um, it, it is interesting, not all of the artists go to residencies, and, but I do. And VCCA is my probably favorite place in the world. Um, I do have a few, but uh, and sometimes they ask me, well, why do you go, why do you pack up your whole studio and go somewhere for a month and work? Can't you just work in your studio in Richmond? And of course I can, and I work in my studio in Richmond, but what I can do at VCCA in one month is roughly the equivalent of what I can do in a year in my studio. It creates focus for you. It creates a great deal of focus. Artists need two things first, time and space. Over there at VCCA, I am given time, I am given space. I have no earthly worries. I think I have to do my laundry every <laughs> once in a while. That's, that's about the extent of my responsibilities. And I will, I'm also given a companionship of 24 other artists from different disciplines. Mm -hmm. So when you when you put all of that in a mix, the conversations with other creative people, this glimpse into their creative process, um, there's nothing more exhilarating for me than talking, for example, to a poet and asking them, I'm curious about how, how they work, and, and recognizing something and saying, yes, that makes sense to me. That crazy thing that you have just said, how you get yourself into your work, makes a great deal of sense to me. So it's that connective tissue that really gives, gives us all strength and motivates us to do even more. And Sunny, what does it mean to be able to celebrate 40 years of serving the community this way? It just seems like a moment in time. We began in Charlottesville. Um, the story goes that two, two or three writers from Charlottesville were invited to uh, the General Assembly to find out what they could do to help writers in Virginia. And the story goes that the lady said, buy us an old motel and give us some money for food and leave us alone. <laughs> and that's the sense of an artist community or artist residency. But 40 years means 4,500 artists and writers. Um, not that Tanya came four times, but that many different people, mm -hmm. many of whom have come a number of times. And um, we are just so proud and happy to still be here and serving Virginia and just really be a jewel in the crown of the Commonwealth. And we had the chance to, I mentioned these earlier, to take a look at a couple of your pieces. We're showing those on camera right now. You did these while you were in residence? 
Yes, it actually, and if you look carefully, there is uh, those branch-like structures or over there are the poplars, I believe, from VCC. I somewhat stretched in the Photoshop before I've um, put uh, before I've put them there. But uh, as a as a as a non-native, as as I guess someone whom Virginia adopted, <laughs> and it has been my home for ten years now. Um, regardless of me being there, I'm so proud that we have an institution like VCCA in our state. The institution that that provides that concrete, it couldn't be more concrete way of helping new art being, uh, helping new art being made. Absolutely. The art is a testimony to our time. The art is a testimony of how we live our lives, how we process them, what is the spirit of our time. Um, and VCCA comes there and it is like a cradle for artists here, grow. Yeah. What a Fantastic. wonderful way to put it. Thank you so much, Tanya Softik and Sunny Monk, for joining us today. Thank you. And the Virginia Center for the Creative Arts is hosting its 40th anniversary celebration this Saturday evening at the Virginia Museum of Fine Arts on North Boulevard. If you'd like more information, we have it on our website at wtbr.com slash vtm. That's right. Uh, one of the pictures of Tanya's kind of reminds me of the tower out back. Yeah. Yes. Like <laughs> A little tower action there.